Hi, my name is Andy Wood. I'm Education Director for Audubon North Carolina, and I'm standing near the Intracoastal Waterway in southeastern North Carolina, participating in a derelict crab pot study funded by NOAA in partnership with the Tortoise Reserve. And what we're doing is actually studying impacts of ghost pots. These are crab pots that have been lost, uh, generally because the buoy line has been severed, most often by boat props, and uh, these pots persist in the water, unknown to anybody traveling by unless they get snagged on another boat prop. And because they're in still good condition, they continue trapping. So we call them ghost pots, which is a reference to other derelict fishing gear like ghost gill nets and ghost um, long lines. So this pot here is right near the edge of the Intracoastal Waterway, and you can see that uh, we're less than 50 feet from the shoreline, and we're in shallow water, which means this is ideal habitat for diamondback terrapins, which is the animal we're most interested in in this study um, as regards impact from these pots. There is not a diamondback terrapin in here, which is a, a gorgeous little salt marsh turtle, but there is another animal that we've been finding during this study called the blue crab, which is actually what these traps are designed to collect. And what we have here, again, is a derelict pot that was lost, the buoy line was severed, and what it has successfully captured is that beautiful little blue crab right here which appears at, at a, just a quick glance to be legal size. So derelict pots aren't just a problem for bycatch like this blue crab and we've caught flounder or we have found flounder uh, and we found diamondback terrapins but uh, what it should be of interest to crabbers is the fact that these derelict pots are trapping the animals that they are trying to collect for the fishery, which in North Carolina is a multi-million dollar industry. So we'll extract this crab, release it back into the water, we'll discard this trap properly, and move on to the next one. So uh, for now, I'm Andy Wood. Thanks for joining me.